So guys, in this video I'm going to see how much bang I can get for my buck, or euro rather. So I'm going to go to one of the main supermarkets here in Bordeaux, the mega market. I don't know if it's the cheapest market to go to, but let's see what we can get. First I'm going to grab a little bit of pasta because I cannot live without it. 79 cents, yes thank you. Then I'm going to look for some rice, here's a cheap one but I like Uncle Ben's which costs 2 euros and 30 cents. Next is some chicken, you can get this package and it costs around 3 euros. Next I need a bit of sweet chilli sauce, this is branded so it costs a bit more, 2 euros 50. Then I didn't get any beer but you can see here that it's only 69 cents, I just wanted to show how cheap it actually is in the supermarket. And so many beautiful fresh fruits and vegetables to choose from. I don't know about any of the other milks, but this milk is the one that we use and I would definitely recommend it because it tastes good. Uh, my favorite part, the bread section. There's so many different baguettes, carbs, and this one was 50 cents. And they had a little bakery section where they sold lots of different pastries. One and one. <laughs> Hello. So before I get into how much it cost me, I'm just going to show you quickly what I did buy at the supermarket. So for all of this, it came to 21 euro and 36 cents. It is kind of expensive, but a lot of the things I bought were like branded things, so like Oreo, House of Asia and things like that. So things that would have had to have been imported, which essentially make them more expensive. But we did get three big meals for dinner time. So I bought enough for pasta carbonara, a chicken tikka masala and a sweet chili stir fry. So we did get three big meals out of that, as well as other things that last a long time, such as milk and pasta. And that is just one of the supermarkets in Bodh. I think there's three. There's like one called Aroma Market, and I can't remember the other one, but that's just one option. Whilst in the supermarket as well, I bought some traditional Montenegrin food. I don't even know what it is. I'm guessing it's similar to bur Ah, it is, it's burek, burek. So I'm gonna taste it and see what I think. I asked her and she said one of them was meat and one of them was cheese and spinach. Let's try it. Guessing this one is the meat one. It's huge and she broke it. Ah, uh, it's only got crumbs everywhere. So let's taste test. Mmm. Mm, I'm so hungry right now, so it just tastes like heaven, but it is actually really good. Mmm, delicious. And this one is the cheese and spinach burek. Let's taste this one. I can't really taste anything. It's not got much filling, I don't think, because I can't taste anything the meat one. Not packed full of filling but really nice and tasty and it only cost 50 cents each so it's a good little snack. If you're watching this from England and you know what Greg's is, I absolutely love Greg's, I'm literally missing a steak bake. This is like the Montenegrin equivalent to a Greg's maybe. I know someone did tell me that burek is actually considered fast food, like junk food, fast food, but I don't care because it tastes really good. So if you come to Montenegro or any of the other countries in the Balkans, you've got to try the burek because it's delicious. So guys, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button to see more. If you're interested, you can watch my apartment tour where I show you around this apartment that I'm staying in, in Budva, Montenegro. And I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this burek and see you in the next one.